Hey guys, so I already have on pretty much my entire like base makeup because I am filming a foundation review on the Tutti Frutti foundation from Too Faced. So that's either before or after this video and if it's already up, I will link it in the corner of this video. So this tutorial, I'm going to recreate the look I wore in my vlog as well as in my Ulta Walmart haul. I'm pretty sure I wore it in that video too because it was the same day. <laughs> and you guys requested a tutorial on the look Look, which I was shocked at because I didn't really think the eye look and the lip color went together but you guys really liked it so I'm going to show you guys how I got that in this video so I'm going to start by priming my eyelids I know I'm looking all over here versus at you guys but yeah I'm going to prime my eyelids first with the Sigma eyeshadow base primer you guys know I use this in pretty much all of my videos it's a really good eyeshadow primer and it helps the eyeshadows look true to color because I am a woman of color, sometimes the shades don't look the same as they do in the palette because my skin tone is brown. It's not starting on like a cream base. So it's important if you're working with shades that you wanna make sure show up on your skin to use a primer that has more of a cream tone to it. So I'm just going to blend this in with a flat brush. You can use a fluffy brush or you can use your fingers when blending this in. So for this look, I used two eyeshadows really really easy I use the Sigma warm neutrals volume 2 palette and I started with the shade toasty in my crease and then on the lid I used the shade rouge so with a MAC 224 brush I'm going to apply that transition color in the crease And then I'm going to take this blending brush from Dose of Colors. It's kind of dirty, but it's the same brush that I used for this look. And I just applied that to the lid. And the reason why I applied it with a blending brush was so that I'm able to kind of press the shadow on and then right after that be able to blend it without switching brushes. It just kind of puts two steps in one. So I'm also going to bring this shadow on the lower lash line and I'm using an angled brush to do this. This is the E70 and we're going to connect it to the upper shadow. So now we're just going to go back in with the blending brush that we used originally to kind of blend the edges so that it's not super harsh. You can see the difference between the two eyes. This one is a bit more like faded on the edges and this one is more like cut. It's more like a circle, which you could do either way. So for lashes, I'm going to go with the Lily Lashes Dallara Lashes and yeah, I'm going to apply the glue and wait for them to get tacky and then I'm going to apply them. But actually, you know what? I said all that. I do want to do one thing before. I want to cut off a little bit of the end because I notice like when I apply these lashes, they're just a little too long. Now the tricky part is making sure they're both equally cut. <laughs> so the way I do that is I line them exactly on top of each other and cut the excess off of the second lash. Boom. So the lashes are on and now I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm just going to use the Lancome Montier Big Mascara and I'm going to apply it just kind of running the mascara tip off my lashes, kind of clump them together. Really, these were not the lashes that I used. I just wanted to use a different pair today, just in case you were like, those look different. <laughs> they are different. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with just the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark Tan, one of my go-tos. And I did use the Fenty Beauty Match Stick, but I didn't show that, because I did that in the review. So you guys knew that I used it, but you'll see what I'm talking about <laughs> when you see the review. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Kaja Beauty. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. I'm going to use the shade Saucy today. And the way this blush works is you unscrew the top and there is a heart stamp and then you open up the bottom and then the product is in the bottom and then you just press the stamp and apply it on the cheeks. 
going to take my blush brush and kind of blend that in. It matches exactly with the eye look. And now I'm going to use a highlighter from the same line. I'm trying this out, I never tried this. This is the Muchi Glow and it is in the shade Luna. So this is like more of a buildable highlighter. Once you get enough on the face, it looks good. Okay, so I'm loving this look way more than when I first did it. <laughs> but I'm going to add the lip now. And I'm lining my lips with Chestnut from MAC. And then the lip color, which was a pretty strange choice. <laughs> but I went in with Freckle Fiesta from Fenty Beauty. and then kind of tapped it into the lip liner. And then I'm just lightly spraying that just so the highlight blends in. And that was the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. So this is the finished makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I also wanted to say that the giveaway winner from my Q&A video has been selected. I forgot to let you guys know in the video right after I posted that, but I did put her name in the description box and she has been notified and she already has the gift because I'm doing this in the future and I mailed it off yesterday. <laughs> so yes, thank you guys so much for entering the giveaway. There will be more giveaways in the future, so if you didn't win don't be too sad thank you guys again so much for watching this tutorial make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as check out my previous video and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys